I split this tutorial into three parts. The reason why is because in order for me to put the whole video on YouTube, I would have had to make the quality size very bad, and it was really hard to read what was on the screen. So I hope that this helps, and I hope you enjoy my tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to put DVDs on your PSP for free. You're going to have to download two things. The first is DVD Shrink, and you can find that at www.softpedia.com. After you've installed DVD Shrink, we're going to configure it so that it will work with our next piece of software called PSP Video 9. You can download that at pspvideo9.com. After you have installed it, we're going to configure the settings so that you can get the most video and the best quality video in the smallest amount of space. That way you can get good quality video on a small memory stick. Once you have installed DVD Shrink, you will need to configure it for it to work with PSP Video 9, and that is what we're going to do now. Go ahead and put in your DVD, and if you get this screen, just hit Cancel. Then, open up DVD Shrink. I'm going to be working with 3.2. Up at the top, you will see Edit. Go ahead and click on that and select Preferences. Make sure that this box has DVD-9 selected. The reason why we do this is so that it doesn't compress our video and make it low quality. Next, go to Output Files on the top tab and uncheck Split VOB Files into 1 gigabyte size chunks. Then, select OK. After that, open your disk. It should be at the top left. Select the DVD that you want to use. I have three drives, so I had to select the bottom one and then hit OK. This may take a couple minutes. To make it go faster, you can uncheck Enable Video Preview. After a minute, it should be nearing completion and then you get a set of options and settings. What we're going to want to do first is up at the top click on reauthor rather than the full disk mode. Then you will want to go through the different um, clips here and find your main movie. It'll be the longest and the biggest file size. Click on it and hold it and drag it over underneath DVD. You can see it's an hour and 40 minutes long, so it must be the actual film. Then, go into compression settings just to check that it has 100% quality. After that, uncheck all the audio options that you don't need. We don't need French, Spanish, or director's comment. This might be different depending on the DVD you're using, but all you need is English. Uncheck all the sub pictures, and once that is completed, hit the backup button at the top of the program. That up at the top, we're going to select hard disk folder, and then you want to make sure you select a drive that has enough space. We're going to be using D, but usually you will use C. You can leave that box checked. Just going to check the settings and make sure that nothing needs to be changed. Alright, everything's good, so we will hit OK. Once it is done, it will put a video file where we told it to put it, either in the C or the D drive, and then in the correct subfolders. Now that it's done, you can see some blue text, and if you click on that text, it will show you the video file. You should only see one main video file, which is the VTS underscore 01 underscore 01. So you can get out of that. We will find that again with PSP Video 9. So for right now, you can just hit OK. 
and that's how you back up your DVD with DVD shrink so that PSP Video 9 will recognize it. This is the end of part one. To see part two and how to configure PSP Video 9, please find part two in my videos.